What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the AK-5C which is the new assault rifle in Battlefield 2042. It was basically one of the two new weapons that we've got with Season 7. And one of them was the STZ-3 which was an SMG. And I made a specific video about that weapon basically explaining all the different attachments and play styles that you can play that weapon. But today we're going to take a look at the AK-5C and there are different playstyles for this weapon. There are attachments that suit those playstyles perfectly. So we're going to take a look at the weapon itself and the attachments afterwards. So that's about it. Also, the link to my previous video about SCZ3 attachments and playstyles is down in the description. Make sure to check that out as well. If you enjoyed the content, if you found this video helpful, subscribing to the channel and liking the video is going to help the channel a lot to grow day after day. So make sure to do that as well. With all that said, let's just get right into the video. So as usual, let me tell you some things about the weapon. I do believe the damage model on the weapon is pretty good. The fire rate is somehow low, personally for myself, because um, I'm just accustomed to playing weapons with higher rates of fire. But yeah, the fire rate is just a bit better than something like Scar. But yeah, if you get used to the fire rate, it's going to pack a serious punch. I do believe the damage model is great as well. So uh, the weapon generally is a decent weapon, I would say. There are some downsides to it. For example, if you start playing with a weapon, you're going to definitely notice the low muzzle velocity that this weapon has. The AK-5C has 675 meters per second muzzle velocity. For you guys to have some sort of a scale, uh, let's see the VHX, for example. The VHX has 750 meters per second muzzle velocity, as well as the RM-68. The M16A3 has 845 meters per second muzzle velocity. So comparing that to the AK-5C's 675 meters per second, the AK-5C is just lacking in this department. And you're going to notice this when you're firing at moving targets in medium range. You basically have to predict bullets and where they go because the muzzle velocity is just, just a bit off. So that's the only downside I see for this weapon. Apart from those things, the visual recoil is somehow odd on this weapon as well. It, I do believe it's too much. Feels too heavy. Like I said before, the visual recoil was something completely ridiculous. And I do believe the best thing DICE can do about it is to basically revert everything and just completely remove it from the game. Uh, that's about the weapon itself. Now let's get into the attachments and see what we've got. So I do believe you can have three play styles with this weapon. One of them being the long range assault rifle, the close range assault rifle, and finally the balanced performance. Now we're going to start with the long range AR play style. Then we go to the close range assault rifle and then we're going to take a look at the balanced performance to see what we've got. So starting off with the long range AR, if we start with the muzzle attachment, I do believe you should definitely put the heavy barrel on. The heavy barrel decreases the rate of fire by 90 RPM, uh, which is a big number in the rate of fire department. But if you want to deal the maximum damage and increase that muzzle velocity, you definitely need this attachment to be on. So heavy barrel is going to be our first choice. And then let's take a look at the under barrel attachments. If you guys want to engage in longer ranges, I do believe you need two attachments for this weapon. First one is going to be Cobra Grip because most of the times if you shoot at longer ranges, you're going to stand still. You don't move too much. So Cobra Grip gives you that accuracy while static and decreases your accuracy while moving, uh, which I do believe is a nice trait. So I do believe the Cobra Grip should be your first option. And for the second slot, I would go with the ADR Bipod because that way, if the target is so far away, you can just equip the Bipod deploy it and start shooting with very much lower recoil, right? You can also choose the 40mm armor piercing grenade launcher as your third option because sometimes you find yourself in situations where there are enemy armor and you want to do something, participate in taking it down. So that is going to be your option as well. Now for your ammo type, I do believe you have to start with the high power extended. It does reduce the rate of fire as well. It gets it down to 530 RPM. So high power extended as your first option. I do believe your second option should be the standard issue extended and then the high power with the 20 bullets. So this is how I believe your magazine options should look like. And then for the scope, I do believe you still need some sort of a red dot because there are times uh, where people just jump in front of you and you want to have something for those close ranges. And for your medium range, having something like the Bravo 3X is fine. And for those long ranges, I believe this one, the PSO1 M35X is going to be enough. I do believe you don't need any more magnification. 
So this is how your weapon looks like if you want to engage in higher ranges. Your attachments are all there. So this is going to be the weapon that you're going to play with. Now, let's take a look at the close range assault rifle. And to start off, we're going to champion muzzle break. I do believe it's your best option here. The weapon's recoil, as you can see, is mostly vertical. So I do believe having the champion muzzle break is way better than having the Archon tactical muzzle break. And the weapon's accuracy is also good, so there is no need for the tactical compensator because we've got our weapon accuracy on point. So I would say the champion muzzle break is fine. You might want some stealth sometimes. I'm really against using uh, suppressors in Battlefield 2042 because I believe they're basically useless because their stealth is completely dependent on your distance with your enemies. So that is just completely rubbish. But if you want to use that because you're in close ranges, I do believe the Type 4 Heavy Suppressor is going to be more beneficial. And I put it here. But if you want that muzzle velocity to not be reduced as much, you can also use the 6KU Suppressor as well. Moving on to underbarrel attachments. Uh, because you're engaging at close ranges, you've got two options here. First of all, you can equip the LWG grip, which increases the accuracy while moving and decreases the accuracy while static. You're going to need this for close range engagements. And you can also use the LS1 laser sight for that hip fire accuracy. I do believe the weapon has some sort of hip fire accuracy itself, so you wouldn't need that. But if you insist, you can also do that as well. I don't have the LWG grip. I do believe I need 20 more kills for this, so just ignore that. Put that LWG grip as your main attachment, and if you want some more hip fire accuracy, just put the laser sight in your first attachment, and let's move on. Um, I do believe the other attachment that you need is going to be the 40mm armor piercing grenade launcher because again, you might find yourself in situations where there are enemy armor and you want to participate. This is going to be your best option because it deals a decent amount of damage to the armor as well. This is how your under battle attachment should look like, but with the LWG grip, without it, I'm just going to put the laser sight here. So this basically depends on yourself. If you want more hip fire accuracy at laser sight, if you want... Uh, some more accuracy while moving, the LWG grip is going to be your first option. Ammo type is going to be really easy here, and it's a no-brainer, I believe. You're going to choose the Close Combat Extended as your first option, then the Close Combat Basic, and then I believe putting the Standard Issue Extended here is going to be better because you're going to get some uh, more ammo in that magazine. Now for the Scopes, I do believe the scope is completely personal preference. I do like the Fusion Hello. I do believe it gives you more clarity. The target acquisition is going to be way easier. But if I were you, I would equip some two times or three times magnification scope as well, because sometimes you just have to engage longer ranges as well. So I would put the Bravo 3X here, or even the TV2X is going to be a better option here. So this is how it's going to look like in the end. I do believe it's the best you can get out of this weapon for close ranges, uh, despite the weapon not being as good as some other ARs in those close ranges. But if you insist, this is your go-to close range attachments. Now moving on to the third playstyle, the balance performance. I do believe going with the champion muscle break is going to be way better here. But if you want a suppressor, you can equip your favorite suppressor. I would just equip the 6KU suppressor here because uh, we just need that muzzle velocity, okay? We don't need to lower the muzzle velocity more than it is. So this is going to be your muzzle attachments. For the underbarrel attachment, I do believe you still need to have the LWG grip, but this is going to be a uh, personal preference again to choose one between the LWG grip and the Kerbal grip. If you tend to participate in gunfights where you are standing still, the Kerbal grip is going to be a better attachment for you. And if you move a lot, the LWG grip is going to be more beneficial for you. So I do believe one of these two should do the trick based on your own playstyle. I would still need the 40mm armor piercing grenade launcher. I do believe you should have this one on every single weapon that you can. And I don't think we need anything else. Don't forget, you can also put the LS1 laser sight instead of your uh, LWG grip or Cobra grip. Because if you guys need some more hip fire accuracy, I'm just not going to stop you, so go ahead and do that as well. Now moving on to ammo type, I do believe your go-to ammo type should be the standard issue extended. Personally, I'm completely against using any close combat 
ammo type on assault rifles. I believe it just messes with the damage model, but I'm just trying to make something general here. So I would put the standard issue extended here in my first slot. My second slot is going to be the close combat extended. And my third slot is just going to be the close combat basic magazine. And this is solely because it just holds more bullets than the basic standard issue, right? So this is how your magazines will look like in this setup. For these scopes, just put your 1.25 magnification scope here, your favorite red dead side. My, mine is the Fusion Holo, but you can also use the Kate Holo or XDR Holo, whatever it is, uh, that's up to you. And I do believe you need a three times magnification scope or a 3.5 here, maybe even a four. It's just based on your uh, own opinion and your own preferences. I do believe the Bravo 3X is fine. I do believe the M22 3.5X is also good. And the Ghost Hybrid as well is one of those fine scopes. So I'm just gonna put this one here. And this is going to be how the weapon looks if you want the balanced performance out of the weapon. This setup can engage in close range combat. It can engage in medium range combat. It can also uh, use that armor piercing grenade launcher to deal some damage to enemy armor. And you've got everything in one package. So this is my personal favorite. And I recommend you using this one if you are just uh, versatile with your play styles. This is going to be better because it supports both close combat and medium range engagements. So this is just generally a better option for those who just have some versatile play styles. So to wrap things up, AK-5Z is um, a decent assault rifle. I believe everything is on point. The accuracy is good. The hip fire accuracy is also good. The only downside to this weapon is the muzzle velocity, which is 675 meters per second. It's basically lower than most of the assault rifles in the game. And there are three play styles, in my opinion, that you can have with this weapon. The long range AR is gonna look like this. The close range assault rifle is gonna look like this. And the balance performance is going to look like this when it comes to attachments. With all that said, it's time to end today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope it was helpful. Go down in the comments section, make sure to let me know what attachments you put on this weapon and what play styles you have with it. And generally, do you agree with my attachments or you just have another idea? If you have better ideas, make sure to just share them in the comment section so others can use that as well. Until next time, guys, stay cool.